systematic review and meta analysis so what is a systematic review systematic review is a type of a research study that involved uh, searching and researching and reviewing most if not all the published literature on a specific topic systematic review is a literature search that involves a complete reviewing and searching for all published publications on specific topic those studies that um, investigate a specific objective or specific aim or specific question so the systematic review will aim to identify all the relevant publication uh, or research studies that had been performed or already carried out on a specific research question or a topic so those publication already published and there is a data on them and based and this identification of these studies will be based uh, on following a certain criteria or condition or defined set of criteria for which uh, article or which research study to include and which one to exclude so it is a type of searching all the databases available to look for a publication that has been released into the databases that have addressed the same question so the systematic review will summarize all the findings on a specific topic or specific question so systematic review can be done with or without meta-analysis so far systematic review is a literature search on a specific topic systematic review can be done without a meta-analysis uh, but if it is done with meta-analysis then the systematic review will pull out all the uh, relevant studies and will pick up and select all the research study similar research study independent research study that addresses the same uh, scientific question or the same aim or aims and perform a meta-analysis which will provide a quantitative summary uh, with a statistical analysis of all these combined study results of those research so the difference between systematic review it will perform a literature search and it will look for all the publication on a specific topic and it will summarize the finding the meta-analysis with systematic review will add additional layer in which a statistical analysis will be performed on the data or the finding extracted from all those relevant published literature uh, studies and then produce an overall summary and significance of the findings from those uh, multiple studies so what is a meta-analysis meta-analysis um, is a second step post systematic review so first of all a systematic review will be performed then the data extracted from selected and specific research study is uh, taken and a statistical analysis is performed so meta-analysis is a statistical method used to combine and gather and summarize the result and the finding of several independent studies so the meta-analysis will eventually pre 
provide a precise estimate of the effect size of a specific intervention or exposure or treatment by pooling these results from multiple studies that already investigated the same research question. So it's just gathering the outcome and then produce an overall effect size. So it is a statistical analysis that combines the result of two at least, has to be two or more studies to estimate the pooled effect size. So that the minimum uh, number of uh, research study is two and more. Uh, that uh, meta-analysis will uh, uh, try to uh, um, calculate at the end or estimate the overall pooled effect size. So a meta-analysis is a statistical method that analyzes data from already previously published studies, research studies, and um, already have uh, um, findings and uh, outcome and to eventually identify from those studies whether there is a patterns and whether they agree or disagree on the findings and then make an overall conclusion from those multiple studies. So the meta-analysis is a statistical method that will measure the variation or the heterogeneity among those uh, studies uh, and the result of those studies by uh, giving a, or producing or calculating the confidence interval for each specific study by performing a heterogeneity test which is i square to find out whether these uh, uh, results from those multiple uh, research study um, ha uh, have degree of variability or they are closed in their finding to each other. So the meta-analysis eventually will produce different graphs and different statistical um, values and from those values a conclusion can be drawn. So what are the steps to perform meta-analysis? The first step is to define the research question. What kind of a research uh, or a study that you are interested in to make a meta-analysis? So you need to, to have a specific scientific question, a research question or a topic. Then use certain key words or terms to search different databases by doing a literature search. Those databases can be Medline, Ovid, Embase, Scopus, Web of Science, PubMed, Cochrane Library, and so on. So search those databases, um, scientific research uh, study, uh, for those databases, look for key terms or keywords and then set up a criteria for which articles or which research study to include and which one to exclude. So you, there will be a certain criteria or for studies inclusion and that is based on uh, a terminology called PRISMA. So, Selection of the specific study is dependent on the criteria set by the researcher. So once the um, uh, research studies has been uh, found uh, and identified, then a screening process will have to follow to select which one to consider and which one to exclude uh, by also drawing a prism chart uh, setting up the criteria, then determine which study is eligible to be included in the meta-analysis and then finally perform the meta-analysis. And before performing the meta-analysis, select the effect size that you want to measure. So if those articles or research study uses Hedges G, then stick with the Hedges G or Cohen's D, 
which works for when the outcome is continuous and the means uh, are calculated for experimental or treatment group and a control group or the effect size can be an odd ratio or risk ratio or hazard ratio or rate when the outcome is binary or dichotomous furthermore the effect size uh, measurement can be on based on pearson correlation coefficient the next step is uh, selecting a model for meta-analysis whether to go for fixed effect or random effect once those criteria has been uh, fulfilled and the number of uh, research study to include in the meta-analysis are identified then the meta-analysis can be run and a heterogeneity test will be performed to measure and to give an estimate of the degree of heterogeneity between those selected specific research publication and a p-value is will be given and a value for the test which is i square will be given so the overall objective of the meta-analysis is to produce a overall effect size taking the effect size or the uh, estimate measured in each study and calculate the pooled effect size where and then determine the significance of that and the value for it from the combined uh, selected limited studies the meta-analysis also will produce a forest plot a forest plot is basically a diagram, is an output of the meta-analysis that summarizes the overall uh, data in each study. So there are three sections in the plot, a section for descriptive um, um, statistics showing the number of uh, uh, sample or the sample size, the uh, estimate effect size whether it is a mean or it is an odd ratio uh, it shows also the p value for each study the confidence interval for each study and the percentage of weight for each study and a second section which is a diagrammatic one which will shows the overall uh, estimate effect pooled estimate effect the estimate size for each individual studies uh, represented diagrammatically and a third section which is important which will give the overall effect size with a p-value uh, for significance and uh, heterogeneity a test for heterogeneity between those studies uh, using the i square and also the meta-analysis will generate a further plot called the funnel plot. The funnel plot is a chart or a diagram that will show whether there is publication bias. And that publication bias can be confirmed or assessed or tested by performing an Eagles regression test. Now, what softwares can I use to do a meta-analysis? Well, there are several. The easiest one is the Excel. And if you have the formula or the equation for each statistical test, then the Excel, the one to go for. Or there are several softwares that have the meta-analysis uh, function or statistics already pre-installed, such as SPSS, Stata, Graphpad Prism, R Statistics, Python, Ref Manager. Ref Manager is, is dedicated for meta analysis. And another software which is Jamovi and GMP. So there are several software for performing and carrying out the meta analysis for a data post doing a uh, systematic literature review based on a standard or specified criteria um, drawn in a chart which is called PRISMA.